Next we're going to make my chocolate mint cake. I have chocolate cake and mint um, buttercream. You can use whipped cream, buttercream, and you can also use mint liqueur. Now the way, if you use liqueur, you have to make sure that they're over 18 because it actually is alcohol in the cake. And you can just take a couple of teaspoons and drizzle it on each cut piece of cake. Not too much, you don't want to make it soggy. And or you can just put it in the, the frosting. About three tablespoons of cream to mint in the um, whipped cream. Um, it works really nice for this, or buttercream. And, um, and or if you don't want to use cream to mint, you can use uh, mint extracts. If you do that, just do about a half a teaspoon in the, the frosting. All right, we'll go ahead and do that right now. Um, when you make this, it, the liqueur is clear, so you want to add just a drop or two of green food coloring. And then just mix it around. Next, we're going to add our mint chocolate chips. I have these. Are, again, you can find these in the baking section in your market. And it's pretty aromatherapy in here. If you like mint, why? Ooh, mm, it smells minty. And I'm going to put these along the sides here again. Rosettes. Now on this one here, I'm going to use these again for the top. You're welcome to use a little peppermint patties that they have, or even one of the big ones. You can set that in the middle, and you can write happy birthday or whatever your message you like. Also, you, on this one here, it will work really great with the chocolate drip cake. Have chocolate drips down the side of this. It looks really nice, too. And there we have our chocolate mint cake.